Hello, I'm Mike from musicradiocreative.com. In this video, I will show you how to edit really quickly in Adobe Audition using Palette Gear. So we're always looking for that golden piece of equipment and Palette Gear certainly fits the bill in looking good on your desk and editing fast with audio. I'm gonna show you exactly how I might edit right now using Palette Gear. And if you wanna win an expert kit from Palette, head over to mrc.fm slash giveaway. That is mrc.fm slash giveaway for your chance to win. Slick piece of kit uh, with lovely LED lights around it. You can customize the colors and make it look just right for your setup, which is really, really cool. Um, so here on the screen, I've got the Palette app open and I've got my audio set up here. And I've just set up a few presets for Audition. Of course, you can click plus and you can choose uh, some of the many other apps that Palette integrates with. Look at them, plenty of them here. You're never gonna run out. Uh, even my favorite uh, uh, screen recording editor, ScreenFlow, is supported in Palette. So really cool stuff. So what do we got set up? We got space here, which is the play and the stop, zoom out full, uh, zoom time, cycle selected track, move playhead, uh, and change the volume and selected track. So let's just have a play with this and just see how slick and responsive it is. Uh, you may have seen in a previous video how to set this up. Now I'm gonna show you how it works. So that's play and we can not only do that but we can also change the selected track volume and pan the selected track when we're in multi-track so let's go over and create a brand new multi-track session bring this in and we're going to convert the sample rate and then start playing it stop and you'll see that palette displays these wonderful heads up uh, kind of uh, indicators of what you're doing Turn the volume uh, down or up like that so we can fade it up and down. We can use this like a fader to do what we like. Now, of course, if we do that now and play it back, it's gonna be nothing. Turn it up to zero dB. That automation isn't recorded. So how would we do something like that with palette? Well, first of all, you can pop this down to see the volume track here for the whole track, but also you want to turn read uh, to either write or touch. Let's go for touch for this instance. Now it's gonna record all my actions using palette onto this track in Adobe Audition. So first of all, this button to start and then this button to change the volume. Okay, now I'm changing the volume and so I can be heard really easily over the top of the track. Just faded it up there for effect and uh, we're about to hit the uh, the nice beat and uh, so I really want to fade it up really loud when that beat comes in about now. Stop and there you go, you see all of the uh, little actions I did on palette, those smooth fades are now recorded into Adobe Audition. How cool is that? So you can see how you can easily do things. Now, of course you can make palette do whatever you want. Uh, volume is just one thing, but of course uh, we can write on uh, some panning as well. So we can pan left and right like so <laughs> and stop. Um, but of course, if we want to uh, write that on, we can just see there, there we go. There's the panning that I did. That's just been written on. Again, we can change it, pan it over there. Uh, right the way to the right, right the way to the left, and right the way to the right again, and then stop, and then our new panning automation is immediately written on using Palette. If you ever forget what you've been using, just go back to the Palette app and you can see what we've got here. So say we got lost in space and we were zoomed right in, checking out how cool our automations look, this button is gonna zoom out full, which is something I love to have on a hotkey because sometimes I can get lost right in tight editing a waveform here, and then, oh, where am I? Zoom out full. That's what that is there for. Uh, let's look at some other stuff. We got zoom to time, cycle selected track, move the playhead, all good stuff to you. So we're moving the playhead first of all, nicely just by sliding up and down and you can hear it actually scrubbing. So we can just scrub to the point that we want and say if we were zoomed right in. In fact, I don't even need to zoom in with my magic mouse because I can use this dial here on palette gear to do the same thing and it's actually a little bit smoother than my magic mouse. So let's get in really tight and then find the start of a beat. So say, uh, well, let's find the biggest break beat there. Say I wanna go there, I'm gonna zoom in. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on, take the selection off there, zoom in. Okay, now I wanna get right to the start of that beat, so I'm gonna just move the playhead along. Now, as you can see, this is fine grain, so I'm gonna put it roughly in the direction, zoom in a bit more using palette, and now we can get right to the start of that beat. Really, really good, but I might need to zoom out a bit more to make the uh, make that a little bit slicker. There we go, we're getting there. 
to the exact place I want to be. Zoom right in as close as we can get. And I think that's looking pretty good. And then play from that beat. And move the pan to the center, move the volume down, zoom out to full. Really, really, really cool stuff. So Palette Gear is fantastic for speeding up your workflow in Adobe Audition, doing lots of things that you might fiddle about with on a Magic Mouse, or, um, you know, it could be that you have an even worse mouse than the Magic Mouse and you can't do all that cool zooming in and stretching and zoom out full. You want to do it really quickly. Palette Gear is something that can easily sit on your desktop or just underneath your iMac screen or... PC screen if you're using one of those. Uh, and then you can just like edit in Adobe Audition so fast. The faders are a big plus for me because I'm always, uh, I always like to have that kind of producer control over things rather than um, kind of writing it on inside Audition. So really, really good stuff. If you haven't seen my video on how to set this up and get this going, make sure to watch that video too and enjoy using Palette Gear. Let me know how you get on in the comments of this video. And of course, win the expert kit during our awesome audio gear giveaway by heading over to mrc.fm slash giveaway. That is mrc.fm slash giveaway. <laughs>